Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I'm trying out a bunch of new products. You guys, we have Dixon too. Unfortunately, it's about to storm. He is not a fan of thunder. So he came running upstairs to hang out with me. But you guys, we are trying out a bunch of new things. I have some stuff from Unearthly. I have new LYS, stuff from the drugstore. We're gonna play with it all, see what it's all about, and see if I found some new favorites. But you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how we got this look, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I have a bunch of new stuff in front of me and I want to dive in. I haven't filmed in a couple days, so it's just a little weird. I've had a little bit of free time, but also very overwhelmed with what I need to pack. I have about a week and a half before I fly out, so I'm all over the place. Now, I did pick up the new Unearthly Cosmetics High Temp Palette. Look at this artwork. Isn't it gorgeous? The color story, I was looking at it and I was like, wait, I don't really gravitate towards these shades. On the top row, you have the reds, orange, and yellows. I don't use those a lot. I have kind of gotten out of my comfort zone and played with them in the past. This row is definitely something I gravitate towards. The mauve, the brown. I feel like I could possibly use it for work. But then you do also have four shimmer multi-chrome shades. So for me, this is weird because it's a predominantly matte palette and I don't gravitate towards mattes as frequently. But I do love a beautiful shimmer or multi-chrome moment. So we need to go ahead, swatch the shades, see which way I want to go, and we will discuss the swatches once I get them on my arm. Okay, you guys, the swatches did not disappoint, and we have a little visitor today. He is just hanging out, kind of mean mugging Sochu over in her tower, and she's not happy that he's on my lap. But he's been following me around the house. You know they say pets have a second sense or a third sense. Like they can tell when something weird is going on. And they've both been very clingy. So I think they know that I'm getting ready to leave. Which makes me sad. We're going to film with Dixon on the lap today. Until he decides he wants to venture off. Now, these swatches. Okay, so I'm looking at them and I'm like, okay, beautiful mats. They are absolutely breathtaking mats swatched so beautifully and even then like when you go to drag a mat sometimes they just stop and they kind of did but the part where you kind of get that swatch it is so bold and beautiful the red shade heated and fiery which is next to it that orange shade i, I just i don't even know what i want to use they're so beautiful and just brilliantly stunning as far as mats are concerned. The shades in the bottom, feverish, scald, that mauvey purple and the brown, so beautiful. And I feel like even with a crease brush, I just could feather them out a little bit and make them not so bold and kind of like a wash of color. But then the shimmers, like I said, there's two shimmers. So toasty, that yellow golden shade, and then blazing, which is a beautiful fiery red shimmer. Now glowing and muggy are the multi-chromes. So glowing has kind of a fiery orange, yellow, pinky shift. It's quite interesting. Looking at it on my arm and in the light, there's kind of like flakes of gold with some orange and then the pinky tones. But then if you turn your arm a little bit, it kind of catches a little bit of deepness of brown. And then muggy is kind of like mauvey purple with pink glitter and even gold glitter in there. The shades are stunning. I love Unearthly Cosmetics, beautiful indie brand. And I'm just excited to dive into this palette. I am still not sure which shades I wanna use. Even the two pastel shades, bright and warm, the pastel yellow and the pastel pink, they show up beautifully. So I think every single shade in here is just gonna have that beautiful pop on the eye, but I don't know what I wanna do yet. So let me go prime my eyes, deliberate over these swatches and see what I wanna do. Okay. So like I said, I don't tend to gravitate towards the orange and reds, but I think that's what I kind of want to do today. The first shade I'm going to go into is Fiery. This one I'm going to pick up on my fluffy crease brush. I just want a wash of that orange in the crease in the outer V. I'm also, you guys, it's supposed to start raining here soon and Luke took the motorcycle to work. I'm just waiting to see if I get a phone call asking me to come pick him up if it does start raining. Like if it's too much of a downpour, 
he's not riding that motorcycle home. He's done it in the past and like as I've gotten to the base he's like no 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 I can I can ride. I'm like are you sure? So I'm just watching it this guy just started to go gray and I was like oh it's rolling in and it's a little bit late. They said around 3 o'clock. It's 3.30 right now. And I'm like, okay, let's get as much done as possible before he's like, hey, babe, can you come get me? I also don't know if he knows that it's supposed to rain this afternoon. The weather's been kind of weird lately. You guys, the way this shade was coming on, I was like, wait, did I accidentally dip into the red? Nope, it's the orange. It just kind of has that reddish hue to it. So we'll see what I can come up with. And also I'm trying to do all my last minute things right now. I've had... <laughs> three different flights booked for me on three different days so I don't know I think I've got it figured out but the one day I was like oh no I have an appointment that day so fingers crossed that we got it fixed and I'm gonna go into the shade heated this one I'm gonna start with the fluffy crease brush and even though I haven't I know I'm gonna probably have to build this up some more or put the pastel yellow in there but I want to do something fun I think I'll use the fluffy crease brush to start out with this red, which I feel like it's gonna be super pigmented. Place it a little bit lower than that orange, and then I'm gonna use my compacted smudge brush to deepen it up. They're very similar in color, but I can see the difference. I'm hoping it's coming across on camera, but I am gonna deepen it up in a minute. I'm just getting that wash of color in the outer V area. When you have a trip coming up, do you ever feel like, okay, I've got everything planned out, I know exactly what I need, and then as you get closer to the date, you feel like you have nothing under control? That's how I feel right now. It'd be one thing if I was just going on a trip for like two weeks. This is for eight months, and I'm like, how do I pack for a year? It's one thing when I'm packing for the ship for an underway or a deployment. I wear a uniform, every single day except for when we pull into port I only need like a week's worth of civilian clothing. That is not the case with this trip. I will be on shore and after work at night I can go out to dinner, I can kind of explore, so I need more than just a week's worth of clothes and I'm freaking out. All right I'm dipping in with my compacted smudge brush just to deepen this up right here but also I've been checking the weather and looking at the weather trends for the last couple of years. And it looks like Germany does have a summer. It's just not as long as in the States. The warmer months don't last as long as you might get in Virginia or Florida where it's currently, it is 95 degrees out right now. When I was looking at the weather earlier, where I'm going in Germany it was like high of 77. I was like, that's beautiful. That is fall, that is spring, perfect weather. And for like the next two weeks, they have one day that gets to like 92 and then the rest are in the 70s. And I was like, I can do that. So I'm just going to take stuff that I can layer and then at least two hoodies, a raincoat, and then a winter coat. I mean, that should be good for outer garments. The good thing is I also, because I'm traveling on orders, I get one of my suitcases are covered by the military. They'll pay for that. If the airline doesn't, sometimes they don't charge us. The other thing is... I'm allotted more than just two bags, but I'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible. All right, so that's fun. I just think I might need to go into that orange a little bit more or maybe use the yellow to make it a little bit more orangey. It literally looks like I only used one shade. I'm not mad at it. I like it, but it looks like I only used one shade. I'm gonna go into the shade Glowing. This one I'm gonna pick up on my ring finger. I was thinking about it, I was like, ooh, if I just do right here and then add a different shade, and I was like, no, I really wanna focus on that shade right here. Look how beautiful that is. All right, so I'm gonna finesse that with my dry brush. I think I'm gonna pop one of the yellows in the inner corner. That is so pretty. We're not even done yet. I do wanna clean this up, because realistically, I'm gonna do the same thing off camera with this side over here, but I don't always show you guys how I like clean it up. So I start lower and then work my way up, but I go towards the end of my tail. That should be good enough because that still gives a little bit of space down here. Let me go do this eye. I will do whatever base products I don't have new items for, and I'll come back. Okay, you guys, base products are done, and I have a new blush. Now, anything that I've used that I haven't discussed is linked down below, so definitely check that out. But you guys, Anastasia Beverly Hills just released the Blurring Serum Blush. They have the little 
push tubes. I got mine in the shade Guava. I didn't pick up a bunch of shades, especially knowing that I have to pack up a makeup bag, multiple makeup bags. I don't know. I just know that I'm planning on taking a lot of my cream products with me because they will expire way before I come back. But I was like, okay, not on a no buy. I'm just on a low buy. And right now I still want to try this out. Now looking at this, it has what looks like a needle, a hypodermic needle. One of the old school, I've been watching Outlander um, and Claire <laughs> is a doctor and this needle, the, the tube looks like her big freaking needle. It's, it's crazy looking, but I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, do I apply it to my face? Do I apply it to my hand? I did powder my under eye because I did already do my concealer. I didn't powder anywhere else. So just on the back of my hand, I want to see what this looks like before I put it on the skin. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm wondering if I should put it on the back of my hand and use my brush to just kind of pat it into place before I set the rest of my face. But also the way it blurred out. Do I need a lot? All right, so I'm going to start with that. I'm nervous. Oh. Ooh, it is really pretty though. And I like to start in the back and work my way forward. I kind of wonder if I should have gotten a deeper shade. Granted, my foundation is a little bit deeper than I need right now because I have not been tanning. I did pick up a self tanner to take with me to Germany, which I want to try out tonight, but I haven't tried it yet. And I mean, my foundation kind, um, it's not too dark. This is pretty. It is building nicely. I will look closely here in a second to see if it is disturbing my makeup where my powder's at. That is really pretty and no, it is not disturbing my makeup. Oh, that is gorgeous. I wonder if I should get a deeper shade of this. Let me get to Germany and then I'll, uh, I'll assess. But I really like this. I have been loving cream products and it took me a while to get comfortable with them and just be like, all right, yep, we're gonna jump on that train. Oh, I like this. I feel like I could wear this to work. It's not too bright. It's not overpowering. It literally just looks like my skin. Ooh, are you guys picking this up? Have you tried it? It did just come out, I wanna say like two weeks ago. I received it, it came in, and I just haven't had a chance to play around with it. Come here, puppers. I think he heard something downstairs because he's about to run down and check it out. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like this. Let me know your thoughts. I personally don't think I need to pick up any more shades, but I really, I really like this. The formula is really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and set the face. Now, the one thing I'm gonna be looking for when I go to set it is if it mutes it down too much. All right, so with powder, without, it's not too much of a difference. This is brighter, but for me, because I get oily, I have to set my makeup or it is just gonna slip and slide. And especially with 95 degree weather, it is not pretty. All right, anything extra will dust off. Okay, we need to go ahead and finish off this eye look. Now, the red kind of overpowered the orange, and I think that's also my fault because I did go a little bit higher. I did deepen it up pretty good. <laughs> I do think though, I don't know that I wanna do the red underneath the eye. I kinda wanna go into the pinkish shade. I'm gonna go into the shade Burn. This one, I'm gonna pick up compacted smudge brush. And this is gonna go the entire length. I think it'll complement the red up here and then when I add the orange back in. So it's not as powering as the red, but it just has that kind of a little more subdued. I'm gonna go into the shade Heated. This one I will pick up with my compacted smudge brush and on the edges just kind of blur back over where I don't want the multi-chrome. Now going into the shade Fiery. This one I am going to pick up ever so slightly. And there is a little bit of red on here, so I need to get my color switch and clean it off. These things are a lifesaver. I do need to clean my brushes. It is time. All right, so this I'm gonna dip in just a smidge. And right here on the outer edge, I'm not even going above the red. I'm just starting in the red and gonna start blending it out. So you get some of that fiery hue. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of that oranginess on the outside. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use the shade Bright. I really hope this picks up on my pencil brush and is as intense as it was when I swatched it. But it's such a beautiful, bright pastel yellow. 
Oh yeah, that's got some color payoff. I think to amplify it a little bit, I'm gonna go into the shade Toasty ever so slightly because it is a very bold shade. I just want a little bit of that shimmer to make it pop. And get a little bit of that goldish glitter. Now for the brow bone and the cheeks for highlighter, LYS just put out their cream highlighter. This is in the shade Brave. I love LYS. I love their bronzer stick, their blush stick that they just put out. It is so good. I have high hopes for this. Now let's see. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Now I'm wondering if since it's on the back of my hand, I can pick it up with my brush and just kind of put it where I need it to be. That has a beautiful hue. I'm also not trying to disrupt the rest of my makeup with it. So I'm just flicking it on the brush ever so slightly. Now with this stick, especially since I've already powdered, I am not gonna just smear it on. I'm gonna see if I can pick it up on the brush and place it where I need it to be without disturbing my makeup. Oh, that is so beautiful. It is applying like a dream. It is so intense and beautiful. If you love a beaming highlighter and on top of powder is not gonna disturb it, it is beautiful. I just did a video on a full face of LYS and then they released the highlighter and I was like, ah, oh, dang it. But this is not disappointing. This is beautiful. And they just came out with a new setting powder, which I wanna pick up. You guys, it did not disturb my makeup. Period. I'm always afraid when I use powder and then put cream on top. This is just gorgeous. All right, let me go ahead, brows, liner, and I'll be back because I picked up a new mascara. Okay, you guys, eyelashes are curled and we are ready for mascara. I picked this up the other day. It is the Maybelline Firework Mascara. It's, I think, part of the last Lash Sensational family. 360 Lash by Lash Impact, Full Flare, Super Spark brush. Interesting. Their first mascara made for 360 degree lash by Lash Impact and Full Flare. Custom Super Spark brush with bristleless arranged in a spiral firework pattern to shoot lashes up and out. It's a gel based flaring formula with pro vitamin B5 for buildable clump resistant impact. Resists smudging and flaking up to 24 hour wear. Okay. I like that. I do like the color of the packaging. <laughs> I've been gravitating towards pink quite a bit lately. Okay, there's a lot of like flecks in this brush. Okay, and the bristles are super tiny and stubby. Interesting. Okay, we will do one side and then move over to the other side. There is like a little bend to it, which makes it nice because then it's not getting on my cheek. Watch me say that and then do it anyways. Oh wow, you can definitely see the difference. And that's just one coat. Like I said, I would definitely end up getting it on my cheek and I did. Okay, so this side with the mascara. Just one coat, quite a bit. And see, <laughs> my lashes are non-existent without mascara. All right, let's go in for a second coat. Let's see if it's buildable. It definitely gives some dimension, but it I wouldn't say it's like super buildable. It's not clumping, which is awesome. Interesting. Oh, there's some stuff going on outside. I just heard something and I was like, what the heck? All right, so. All right, one more coat and I feel like that'll finish off the eyes. Okay, so I did two coats. It doesn't look, it kind of makes them look a little bit spidery. I don't know if it's lengthening because my lashes are long or if that's just what it does. I do like it though. I'm just afraid that if you don't have full or long lashes, I don't know if this is going to do a lot for them. I like it. It's not like I love my Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. I, what is it? I have a couple different ones that I really, really like from the drugstore. Even the L'Oreal Panorama. really like this one. Or the Voluminous Noir Balm. This is really good too. But I don't know if like, I feel like if I was going to wear false lashes, this is what I would use to coat my lashes and then add the lashes on. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this and do you like it? And let me know what type of lashes you have if you have tried it. I want to know because it's hard for me to be like, oh yeah, everyone would love this. I know that there's some mascaras that I absolutely love and for other people that have shorter lashes or not as full, 
would be amazing as well. So I think it would just accentuate the ones that you already have. I don't know that it's going to add a lot of depth and dimension. That's just my thoughts. Now, setting spray. I did pick up a new setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 3 Second Setting Mist. This is supposed to have up to 36 hour wear and it's an aerosol. Oh, that was a very fine mist. Oh wow, that dried down really quickly. And I don't see, sometimes I get like chunky droplets. I did not get that and I do like Mewis. Like that was really nice. My skin feels tight though, like hairspray. Like I, I love my Charlotte Tilbury, which <laughs> I just repurchased. I've got this and then I've got my travel size chilling on my table. I love this because my makeup is waterproof. It lasts forever. It just, my makeup doesn't go anywhere. Even in the extreme heat, the sweat and everything, it just stays put, but it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and tight. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I will try it out a couple more times. It says it's going to defy transfer, but like it feels crunchy. Like I don't know. I have y'all tried it. it it's, it's weird because it's like my, when my eyelids are touching, it, they're like sticking together. Am I getting fails from the drugstore? And I bought both of those together. I saw the mascara on my Walmart app as one of the new products and I was like, oh, let me pick that up. And then I saw the setting spray. I was like, ooh, I've never, I don't think I've ever tried that before. You guys, this, it feels weird. It feels so weird. For lips, I do have the Ilia, what is this? The Lip Sketch Hydrating Crayon. And then the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Plumping Lip Oil. So I wanted to use both of these together. I love a good lip liner and lip gloss moment, especially when my hair is pulled back. I don't have to worry about my hair <laughs> dragging it across my face. I have mine in this shade Banquet. Oh, this is creamy. So easy. I really like this color. It's just my lips feel better. I love a good nude. And then I have this in the shade Mixed Berries, the Plumping Lip Oil. And it's just, it's one of those little quick pens. Oh, it's starting to push through. Oh, it's so juicy. I love a good lip oil. And the Maracuja Plumping Lip, the tints, the lip glosses, they're all so beautiful. So I really wanted to try the lip oil. I did only pick up one shade though. Oh, I really like this. There is a minty feel to it. I mean, it is plumping and I'm, I'm used to that with the other Tarte plumping products where it just has like a minty cool feeling on the lips. It's not painful, which I hate. But you guys, this is the final look. I really, really like how my makeup turned out. The Unearthly palette, the, the high temp palette from Unearthly. The color story is so beautiful. I love the names and I don't really think I talked about the names of the shades like toasty, summery, fiery, scald, muggy. There's some of them that I'm like okay like blazing and um what is it toasty. Those also remind me of winter when you're sitting by the fire you just want to keep warm but these I definitely feel like are summery shades and things that I would reach for. I really I really like how this turned out and I wasn't sure. I also think the red definitely took over the orange, but that's also probably my fault because <laughs> I just definitely built that red shade up a lot. Let me know if you're picking this up. Now the other things that I tried out, the LYS highlighter, that is so gorgeous. It did not disturb my makeup even though I'd already powdered and I was like, should I have waited? But then I also didn't want the powder to mute it down. I think it is gorgeous right now. And I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder. It is about to come down outside. I'm just waiting for a phone call from Luke to be like, hey babe, come get me. Now, the lips, I really like this. The Ilia Hydrating Lip Crayon, so creamy. It feels so nice. And I feel like I could just do it without any lip gloss on it and rub my lips together, wear it all day, and it'd be fine. I do like the shade. Definitely something that I gravitate towards. Nudes are one of my favorites. I like a good red lip, but I tend to do that in fall and winter. Summer, spring, it's all about the nudes. The mascara, I'm not sure if it's my favorite. I would probably wear it for work, but if I want a dramatic eyelash, I'm reaching, I'm probably reaching for something else. And the setting spray, I'm gonna keep using it, but like everything feels really drying. 
which is fine. I'm going to need stuff to stay in place. I might go outside and like when it cools off, when it's like muggy and warm, uh, see if when I sweat it, it does anything. But I do like the fact that it's supposed to be long wearing and from the drugstore, there's some really good long lasting setting sprays. One of my favorites is the NYX Marshmallow. Love this. It's still on my table. I use it going to work. There's so many good ones. This, I don't know. I'll keep trying it out. I will try and remember to update the drop down box so you guys can get the details. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about the products that I tried. If you're picking anything up, if there's any products you think I should pick up and try out myself. I don't know if I'll do it right away. I might wait till I get situated in Germany and pick some stuff up because I can have it shipped to me there. But until my next video, you guys, I look forward to sharing my journeys with you when I'm in Germany. But you guys, before you leave, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. If you like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.